let's talk about the instruments which are based on Pascal's law. There are many instruments, few of them are here. Number one, hydraulic jack. Two, hydraulic lift. Number three, hydraulic brake. Number four, hydraulic press. These are the famous devices which are based on Pascal's law. Among them, today I am going to focus on hydraulic jack. What is hydraulic jack? How it is constructed? And how it works? I want to describe a little only. Okay, what is hydraulic jack? Hydraulic jack is an instrument based on Pascal's law, which magnifies the force and is mainly used to lift a part of the vehicle to change its will. First, it is based on Pascal's law and second, it magnifies the force. That's why it is used to lift the part of the vehicle near to the wheel to replace the wheel by another wheel. How it is constructed? Look at this is the simple construction of hydraulic jack. It consists of two pistons. One is called pumping piston, another is called lifting piston. Pumping piston is very small, but lifting piston is comparatively very large. And there is a lever placed over the pumping piston. It can press the pumping piston downward. And another important part is oil reserve and it consists of oil. Oil is not filled only in the oil reserve, it is filled in all the part of the hydraulic jack. There are few valves which have very important function in the hydraulic brake. Look at this, this is the valve placed between the lifting piston and pumping piston and let's say it is V1. And there is another valve which is placed between the pumping piston and the oil reserve and let's say this is V2. And while making diagram in the examination, we can say that V1 and V2 are valves. And there is another valve also here. And this valve is called releasing valve. And when it is open, then the level of oil becomes equal in all these three. Okay. Now how it works? When force is applied on the lever of pumping piston, then it exerts pressure in the oil. And according to Pascal's law, pressure exerted at any point in a confined liquid transmits perpendicular to all the directions. That's why it transmits to oil reserve also here. But at this time, valve V2 remains closed because it is designed in such a way that it can open towards right inside only, towards the pumping piston only. It won't open towards the oil reserve. That's why this pressure cannot open valve V2. And the same pressure when moved towards the lifting piston, then valve V1 opens. Because valve V1 is designed in such a way that it opens towards the lifting piston, towards left hand side. And when the same pressure reaches to this lifting piston, then the force magnifies to huge value. The pressure remains same in both lifting piston and pumping piston. But the area of lifting piston is very huge in comparison with the pumping piston. Because of this huge area, same pressure exerts very huge amount of force on lifting piston. The platform of the lifting piston is placed just below the part of the vehicle which has to be raised and it is very close to the wheel. And when it is pushed upward, it produces very huge amount of force and because of this huge amount of force the part of the vehicle near to the wheel is lifted up and when it is lifted up then wheel also lifts up and its knot can be opened and wheel can be taken out and when another wheel is placed and knot is tightened then our work finishes then we have to bring this lifting piston downward and for this we'll open this releasing valve when releasing valve is opened, then what happens? The piston moves downward, lifting piston moves downward. Now the work of hydraulic jack is finished. That's why hydraulic jack is used to change the wheel of the vehicle. It is based on Pascal's law. It magnifies the force and helps us to change the wheel. Okay, this is very simple explanation about hydraulic jack with the diagram and working principle. Now I want to stop this class. We'll meet in another class with another matter. Thank you.